opening statement, and then we'll open the floor to questions. We got our butt beat, and uh, they played really well. You know, I don't take anything away from them. They pass the ball, they shoot it, and they do. The, they play better basketball that we play, better than we play it. So. I hadn't seen Cal do that. I'm, I'll give him his dues, man. He came into the modern time. He's passing that ball and throwing it around, shooting threes. Who was that? I didn't know that was Cal Perry. But uh, uh, you should be proud of that team. They're a good ball club. He's done a real good job with them. And uh, uh, they, they played really, really well. It's uh, not to make an excuse, but to defend my team a little bit, it's hard to be on vacation for three weeks and come in here and have to play. We were in the Caymans, touched down, one night sleep, got in a bus, got here. We were in the Caymans five days, and right before that, we were at the Greenbrier. So uh, it's tough. I, I, somebody asked me, I said, it's, it's, and I feel good about this game because we use Kentucky to help us see what we need to do. And uh, they showed us, uh, and you got to give them credit for that. They let us know this is what we got to do. But I got a better handle on my team. It reminds me of my son went to West Point, and I asked him, I said, you glad you went to West Point? And he said, no, but I would, I'm glad I went. No, he said, w would, you, would you go to West Point again? He goes, no, but I'm glad I went. And I think uh, if it came time to sign this game again after what we did, I'd go, no. But I'm glad we came here because I feel better coming out of here. We know what we're going to do. And these young men uh, came off of a plane slept one night, got on a bus, came here, and they played their tail off. And, and when we executed, we scored. So uh, we know that if we keep our game in, we'll compete with the team, this team, even this team later on, although they're very, very good, and you should be very proud of them. Questions? Raise your hand. We've got a microphone for you, please. We'll start right here. <clears throat> um, Dan, that six guys and Double figures for them, 27 assists, I think. Just how difficult is it to prepare for a team like that with so many scorers, so many playmakers? Well, you act like I had a chance to prepare. We just got home. <laughs> uh, we looked at them. I didn't have a big chance to, to look at them. And I'm not big on uh, uh, let's watch the other team. I, I'm more big on let's watch our team. What we do is uh, can work against anybody. It doesn't matter. We ran a little gap play. And he got it. He, he passed it. He got a dunk. As soon as we came out of there, when we executed, it was right. We just are a growing team. We got poached last year by people like y'all and uh, spent all your money. And uh, okay, that's fine. That's the way the landscape is now. And uh, but you know what? We're going to be all right. I, I, like I said, I feel a lot worse coming out of the Caymans and our team than I do now. We, we're going to be all right. And we're big. We're athletic. This guy's going to grow his first time with us. O didn't go with us. He didn't even get to. He hadn't played in five, oh, five days. And so uh, not to make excuses because I, I, every time you make an excuse, you're taking away from them. And I don't want to do that. They played, they played extremely well. So did, I, did we prepare? Obviously, a hard team to prepare. They're a good team. Any good team is hard to prepare for. But uh, they shoot the ball extremely well. They spread the floor. They play. Uh, uh, they have a little uh, workout guy. He's, he worked out for. He worked with me, or not with me, but he worked for the Nuggets. And then he was at LA. And I know your workout guy. So uh, you know, good ball club. You know, I'm not disappointed at all though. We're gonna be. We'll be around. You know, I've. I've Lost games like this four, turn around, beat somebody. In fact, Southern Miss, we lost by 50 with John Elmore crowd. At the end of the year, we were winning everything. So this team's going to grow. We're going to be fine. Limited minutes for uh, Wyatt Fricks and Cam Crawford tonight. Was that part of the game plan, or was that something you saw <laughs> personnel-wise that might work for you? I'm Al McGuire. I, I go by the seat of my pants. No, they weren't playing very well. You know, we play them better with this team. And I was learning. You understand, I was using, after we realized that we're, we're going to get beat, I, I'm trying to figure out, okay, how are we going to be better when we leave from this game? So I'm testing people. We put a pure freshman on the floor, a little nutter. And he, you know what? Didn't phase him a bit. He got where he needed to get, threw about three charges. I don't know what he had. Let's see, he got uh, 
One for three, seven of eight, nine points, four assists, two turnovers, turned over. I mean, he had a couple of charges, two or three charges. You know, I learned a lot. I found a point guard, I believe, and uh, he was nobody wanted him. You know, he wasn't recruited. He wasn't in your blue book that y'all recruit from. You know, he stayed right in there. Didn't phase him, so we're going to get better. He's going to make us better. For being a one, does it feel good to get back out there after uh, not being able to play the last three games? And, um, you know, and for you and Nate, you know, what, what, what were they doing down low that, that kind of make things difficult? Uh, they outscored you guys heavily in the paint tonight. Say it again. Yeah, first of all, yeah, you know, just uh, staying home five days, don't get to go with the guys, you know, that kind of suck. You know, I, I realize how, you know, how much basketball means to me. You know, when you sitting down there listening to the guys playing and you just wish that you could be down there with your guys, you know, I mean, it kind of suck. But, you know, when I came down here, you know, I was hungry, you know, I just wanted to play. I just wanted to play again. And what's the second question again? They was basically doing the same thing that we we learned, you know, like our five on all action and stuff like that. But, you know, they was doing it better basically, you know. You know, they was faster and all that, but I mean it wasn't nothing that we haven't seen before. You know, they just did the same thing that we do, but better. Yeah, I think their guard their guards did a great job of just getting in the paint, you know. And they have, they have shooters outside, so you can't help too much off of them. So when that happens and the guards just have lanes to the rim, they got quick guards, crazy out there freshmen. They're quick. They're good. They'll be a solid team if they can keep getting in the paint like they did tonight. So. Coach, you hear about Kentucky having all these five-star guys, all this talent big scores, and yet they had, I think, 27 assists tonight. Can you kind of comment on, on how they're willing to share the ball? Well, I, you know, I guess, you know, it's got to be Cal. You know, he starts it. He's the head of the stick. So, obviously, they've done a great job coaching and teaching them to move the basketball. They, they keep it simple, too. You know, as fast as that ball's moving, they keep it simple. They don't make hard plays. Uh, they're a talented group of people, obviously. Uh, but uh, they keep the ball moving, and then they have four shooters, four knockdown shooters, and uh, a couple more that can capable. But uh, you know, it should be fun for them, you know. And we, you know, we knew coming in we'd have score with them, that uh, we'd have to do that. We're just not at that level yet. But I wasn't. I didn't think we got beat athletically. And I don't think we got beat. Uh, I, I know that we can. We probably not quite as good as shooters as they are, but we have capable shooters. And like I said, when we ran our stuff, we scored. They didn't stop us. We have enough athleticism and we have enough skill to pull it off. Now, these guys haven't played this first year with us. And we, you know, we went to the Caymans. We only had one starter back. You know, we lost to guys that's playing with Utah, a guy that's now at Florida, one that's at Mississippi State. And then he didn't go with us. We only had one starter. And so, you know, when at our level, at uh, mid-major level, you're going to get caught sometimes like this. But like I said, I see him in March or April. I mean, not April, but March. And, into February. Not that uh, I relish it because uh, it will be a tough game, but I, I like tough games. I like playing against this type of competition. And, uh, you know, I've seen us, like I said, we, we'll be around. We got, we got some people that will be pretty daggone good as we get through this year. Time right here. <clears throat> 
Hey, uh, Dan, I just wanted to ask, you know, you, you've obviously seen so much offensive excellence over the years, especially. Well, they're you know, playing the way my brother started. You know, you can thank my th brother for your team. Th that's exactly what I was about to ask is mm -hmm. someone who's seen so much offensive excellence over the years, especially with your brother. How much as a fan of basketball did you appreciate seeing just how well Kentucky played offensively? I like, I like good you know, basketball. I like good basketball. They're playing the way you should. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's good for the fans. I'm not into this sumo wrestling basketball. This is athletes that are moving the ball, sharing it, and you're skilled. It's fun to watch, win or lose, fun to watch. And like I said, uh, before Mike came, they were all sumo wrestlers. But now they're learning, you know, they've all learned. And, and you know, it's funny, and I'll give Kentucky credit. You're a you Kentucky guy? I mean, I coached the team, but I don't know. Well, and you're a Kentucky guy, okay. Hey, stand up for yourself, but don't be backing out on that. Hey, you're a Kentucky guy. Let me, you know who my coach was in college? Anybody in here know? All you Kentucky blue hearts, you all know who you Ellis Johnson. You ever heard of Ellis Johnson? He was your first All-American under Adolph Rupp. That was my coach. And so when we were running these, you see all these drags with your screens in transition? I was doing that in the 60s. That's what he did. So all this stuff, really, that even Mike did, he's kind of perfected it, started at Marshall in the 60s. And we scored 119 points without three-point line against Nebraska in the NIT in the, semi, or in the uh, quarters. Had no problem. If we'd had three-point line, we'd have scored 40 on them. So with that three-point line, we'd have been there. But Ellis liked that. We opened center, let that thing roll, ball's moving, we're coming fast at you. So you wanna you wanna go to your history, all you can tell all you blue shirts out there. He was a good man too. Good man. And uh Adolf Rupp told me one time I was sitting beside him. He'd sent me down and talk to him when I became a coach after I played. And Adolf goes, You'll never be the man Ellis was. <laughs> I go, okay. <laughs> but uh yeah, yeah. Basketball's a great sport, you know. I I like these guys. Something they wanna change it to you know, it's a sport. But we're going to compete, and that don't mean you're soft. You're not. I'm not. I'll step on your throat if I can out there. So it don't make you soft to enjoy the game regardless of what's going on. Best of luck to you, Coach. Thanks for being here tonight. Always. Y'all have a good one.